Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum dears Welcome to this tutorial Today our tutorial is very very important For all the Microsoft learner and for all those who are uh, writers Tutorial we will be learn about the formatting of a formal document So here you see a my document So it is just a collection of words and not very attractive and not easy to read so we will be formatting this uh, and uh, after that we will see that how it is changed and now how it is uh, uh, good to read so here we will be learn that uh, how to use uh, headings and subheadings in our report and also we will be learn uh, how to format our uh, paragraph paragraphs and also we will be able to learn that how to add header footers and page number to our documents after that we will be insert a table of content that is the important part of a report and then finally we will be learn that how to add a cover page so let's start with with the use of headings and subheading to our report so let's so this is the first part of our formatting uh, the formal document so here I will uh, show that how you can apply the headings and the subheading to your documents. So right now there are no um, headings and uh, subheadings properly in my document. So here you see in the home tab the different style of uh, headings. So I will select uh, uh, two or three of them and I will modify the, all of them according to my choice and then I will apply to my documents. So here you see these are the title of my experiment and now I will apply headings to these and so uh, click on the modify and then uh, change the text style and then uh, the size of your font so i change the text style to time new roman and now uh, let's apply the other formats so here you see the different thing numbering so i will apply numbering or bullet to these documents so uh, since this is the uh, main heading so um, the uh, numbering and bullets are not proper to this so now check that too and apply ok so I will apply uh, this heading to this uh, title so here you see how I apply this now I will bring this to the center from uh, the modify command so here you see the paragraph command so click on the center and bring it to the center so here you see this uh, I apply the headings to this uh, title of my experiment and bring it to this center so this is my uh, next experiment I apply to both of them and now I uh, break the page and insert and, add and shift my second experiment to the next page let's uh, modify the second for the subheading so here you can change the color from the standard colors you can select any one of them for your document so i will uh, select this one and you can um, set the textile i set it to 14 and the text uh, size is 14 now and now uh, click the bullets and numbering option so i will apply this bullets to all of my uh, these uh, subheadings so apply to all of your uh, headings the style so uh, here you also see how I'm applying uh, them to the, this and now from here I will um, you I can also apply the numbering effect as well so this is my third heading I have defined for uh, my document and you see that uh, I am applying to this to the subheadings and I set it in the numbering style not in the bullets so carry on the application of these headings to your document so I have uh, modified heading 1 2 and 3 and uh, then I apply here you are seeing this how I am applying this to my uh, document So apply to all of and now uh, come to the second experiment and apply this heading 3 to this and then 
dumper you can change the numbering to bullet if the bullets are uh, suitable to your uh, this heading now deselect the numbering and uh, select the uh, bullets option so this bullet is uh, very much suitable for this heading so now i uh, change the heading 3 from numbering to bullets so the bullet effects are very very uh, proper in this case here you see apply to all and finally the paving machine so all the headings are uh, applied to this document uh, this one has left and hope you like this that uh, how i uh, modify the headings and then apply so this was the heading part now the second part uh, is the formatting of our paragraphs in the formal document so previously i applied the headings to my document and now i will be applying the uh, paragraph formatting to uh, all of my document so here you see the lines up in this paragraph one is long and the other was a bit shorter so these are not looking very much attractive so i will apply the paragraph command so here you see in the home tab the paragraph command and there are the four different one is aligned to the left the other is aligned to the right one and the, this one is into the middle so let's me apply them to this paragraph so this is uh, in the middle and this is aligned to the right side and this is to the left side so all these are not looking uh, better and the fourth one this is the perfect and better style to the paragraph so um, in the formal report uh, this style is uh, mostly applied to the paragraph and this look very very attractive so here i will apply this one to my whole document so here you see uh, i am applying this to my this paragraph so apply to all of your document this one so apply to this paragraph as well so let's apply and there is a short method in which you can apply to hold up your document in just a few seconds just uh, with one click you can apply this to your whole document as well so here um, let's see that i'm applying now to my whole document at once and this uh, can be done with um, selecting all of your uh, document with control plus a or uh, selecting it manually so all will be selected and then uh, apply this so this uh, format will be applied to whole of your document so now here you see this is applied to uh, this uh, paragraph as well and below you see all the paragraphs so all are in this uh, particular format so hope you like uh, this part of the tutorial uh, this was um, about the uh, formatting of your paragraphs and the formal document now we will be moved toward the next part and that is uh, the adding headers footers and page number to a document so so here you see uh, this is my document and i will add the header footer and page number to this document so double click on the uh, top of your page so i bring my cursor to the top of the page and now double click on this once you double click on this so at the left top corner you see the header footer so click on the header and here you see the different options available to you for uh, using your header so uh, let me select the, the, the good one so uh, the best one for my document is i think this one so add this one and add uh, some text uh, regarding your document so i will add uh, some information uh, that uh, 
my document is about the mechanical technology so here i typed mechanical te technology and since this is a lab report so add to the word lab report as well now i have added this as a my header now let's me uh, increase the length of this strip by stretching this to the uh, maximum extent now it is uh, up to the full page and now you see the headers and all of your pages so here you see now the next thing is to add a footer so click on uh, double click on the bottom of your page as i am doing here so now go to the footer at the now you see the different options uh, for using your footer so let's so add any one of them uh, add uh, uh, add one according to your wish so i will add this one so here you see my name is added with this uh, uh, head footer and the page number as well so this is my second page and let's edit you can edit this one so here you see that the header and footer are added to your document so this was all about adding header and footer so thank you for watching this now the next part of discussion is adding a table of content to your document so mostly the students and the professional are doing this that um, they copy all the headings and then paste in a uh, separate blank page and then adding a page number uh, which is a manually a method and very tedious uh, to be done so uh, there is an um, automatic and shortcut method of this uh, through which you can add a table of content to your document so this is very easy so for this you have to insert first a blank page in your document and the blank page should be in the beginning of your document so here you see i have insert a blank page in the beginning of my document and now the next you have to uh, go to the reference tab so uh, this uh, in the this strip you have to go to the reference tab here uh, this you see the table of contents so click on this so here you see the automatic methods of uh, inserting a table of contents so these are very very simple so you can do uh, uh, by clicking on any one of them but uh, i will move toward the uh, custom table uh, through which i will uh, uh, add headings on my wish that i want to see in the table of content so here you see all the heading one two and three are selected so i will deselect heading one because i don't want to show the heading one in my table of content so deselect this one and now click ok and then okay so here you see the table of content is inserted so this was very fast and quick method for insertion of a table of content now at the top uh, write and any style the word table of content and then uh, apply any one of the heading that you want so here i see table of content and then apply any one of these headings so this was a very simple and quick method of inserting the table of content so hope you like uh, this part of the tutorial but before moving to the last part of our tutorial let's discuss an a case uh, for example if you have insert a table of content and then you have add uh, some headings and some extra text to your uh, document and apply uh, any of the headings to or three that uh, we have include in our table of content so for that if, uh, you, if you want to show them in the table of content then uh, this is very easy to show go to the reference tab and here you see update table so update tables uh, here uh, when you apply this method so the new uh, topics that you have added to your document will be shown in the table of content as well now the final part of formatting is adding a core page to a document so in order to add a core page to a document so for this you have to first uh, go to the insert tab 
and from the insert tab you will uh, insert the uh, cover page so let's see and here you see the cover page option so here you see a lot of cover pages you can add any one of them and you can also uh, design a cover page according to your wish so i will add this page so this is my cover page mechanical technology drive report and here i will add the date and the today date 20 um, september 220 so the date is added to your uh, core page and here you can add some extra text i will move this upward so i have moved this upward and i can also move this to the left and let's insert enter that it will be added in the next page and now go to the home and right from here or in the center so this is a good looking option the subtitle let's remove the lab report from here and add it is a sub uh, title so this in this case it look better and i will add a relevant picture here in this blank part so in this document i have used a lot of uh, pictures so i will pick one of them and add to this let's this is about the mechanical technology or heavy machinery so let me add this one so copy this and insert here this is the right place for this now increase the size enlarge enlarge so this is the perfect style now here if you want to insert uh, some text so uh, when you are uh, want to add some extra detail so go to the insert and here uh, bring a text box so this is my text box uh, move it to downward uh, to a blank area so uh, this is the uh, better place you can add it uh, in your uh, desired place so here uh, start typing your details you can add your name uh, let me type my name uh, you can add extra detail like section your uh, class number your registration number and much more detail so this is the registration number so here i add my detail information to this core page so this was all about adding the core page to your uh, documents Thank now let's have a look to the revision of this document so first uh, i will save this and then i will check it so this was all about the formatting of a formal document so we have completed our uh, tutorial now let me convert this uh, document into a pdf format and uh, now uh, then i will check uh, how it uh, is in the pdf format so let's start uh, click on the f12 and uh, click uh, it on the desktop in the pdf format so uh, add it a name uh, so this is the lab report so click save and now uh, it is open with the foxit reader so here you see the title page uh, that you have designed and uh, then let me uh, show the other parts of the document so here you see the headers and footers 
and here this is a blank page left left it in this document so uh, i will uh, remove this uh, from the document in the word form and then i will again save it in the pdf format this is another blank page left in this document so here you see how the uh, paragraphs are looking now let's come to the uh, word form or the word so from here uh, if you click on the pages so you will be seeing the blank pages and then remove this from here so this is another blank page and remove it from here so now the blank pages have been removed from your document now uh, save it again in the pdf format and then you will see the final format of your document so hope you like this tutorial share this tutorial with your friends and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet so please uh, first subscribe and uh, click the bell icon so thank you